name's John Cordy, and I recently just found out that the film Apocalypse Now is actually kind of an allegory for Vietnam uh, and the Vietnam War and stuff. It's an allegory of, of that, obviously. Right, no, today I wanted to talk about the Torpedo Capture X. I was messing around with California Tweed yesterday into it, and also um, that Phoenix amplification thing from 1977. That, that was also in Gary's shed, so he's let me check it out, and uh, I was actually super surprised. On the first channel, there's this boost setting, which kind of, to me, has a really cool tone. Um, so I wanted to talk about how I'm using this, and I guess what I like about it, and just a bit of a review uh, now that some time has passed and that I've had plenty of time to, to check it out and uh, get to know it a little bit and talk about how I'm using it, when I'm using it, when I would hope to use it in the future potentially and maybe you might get something out of the video. If you want to like and subscribe I'll say it now and so I don't have to say it at the end but there's going to be plenty of playing throughout the video. I'm going to try and connect to it now. <laughs> At the moment I've got it hooked up to the California Tweed. So the way that I've got it set up, so this is the preset I use for, for most of my stuff, is I've got the Mesa Boogie C90 or Celestian C90 cab and I can just flash up the settings now but I've got a, a ribbon mic as mic A and then a condenser 87 as mic B, fairly simple settings. And then the next page, I've got the enhancer and the EQ and the reverb on, so I'll just turn off the enhancer. So weirdly enough, I've got that set on guitar mode. Uh, bass mode just wait a second turn that back off so yeah I've got that set on bass mode I'll probably change that and put it back to guitar mode and then the other thing I've got is an EVM cab which two main things that I use is either the EVM preset or the C90 preset but I've also got some of the other Mesa Boogie cabs to play about with um, but I've, really what I've found is that plugging and playing with this thing is kind of pretty good I like to experiment with the space setting obviously in headphones and stuff is really useful but basically that controls the the um, the twin tracker so so you have to be a bit careful with that not to overdo it I think because um, it's quite addictive so uh, I'll just go back to my normal C90 preset I think One little change that I've made is just tame some of the 6k kind of EQ. Just to kind of give it a rounder feel. Um, obviously you could turn that off if you wanted. And basically that's going to give you a bit more presence and a bit more of that direct kind of feel but 
but there's kind of lots of tweakability with it but also you don't necessarily have to do too much tweaking if uh, you don't want to um, so other things that you could obviously do on the app is change mic so I'm just going to change to 57 and maybe the nightfall and see what that does so this is just that's all I've changed <laughs> experiment with different mic combinations to, to get whatever you're normally used to. Personally I find that I can use it with this main preset and switch between amps and stuff and kind of be happy with the way it sounds anyway so... do too much tweaking. Before I had this I had a GFI Cab Zeus um, stereo and while I liked the tones that I could get out of that the main issue was that it had only solved sort of half the problem of a valve amp so you've got two problems. One is the miking up of a valve amp if you want to record at home and then the other problem is the volume so because that didn't have a load box I still had to play at volume whereas this has a load box so I can use three different kind of settings on the torpedo to tame that volume so you can have like a little bit coming through a real cabinet into the room and that kind of helps to do feel stuff or you can have it all coming through <laughs> And then you can basically have that full experience and you're essentially using the Captor X as like a, a mic, really, um, but without having to worry about the actual placement of it. So what I'm thinking is that once things get back to normal-ish and when we're gigging live, this might be a, an ideal thing to stick on top of my amp and take out and gig with and uh, you no, know, like some salmon just stick a SM57 somewhere near your So I can only imagine what it's going to sound like out of the front of the house. Um, if you're going through a PA uh, and you've got a low stage volume, basically they're going to be hearing just an SM57, which probably was placed kind of in haste anyway. So I'm thinking that this might be a better option and might give me a little bit more control over what tone goes out to the front of the house. And also because it's got that stereo thing going on, you can do that kind of panning, double tracking thing. I think that might be really useful for live as well. So that's kind of how I'm hoping to be able to use it at one stage or another if gigs come back at any time. Even that I'm not gigging at the moment, it's been nice to be able to just kick on an amp and play with headphones with this. I've done that occasionally and it just does sound good. And the other thing is it's helping me to get a bit of use out of the valve amps that I do have anyway, which otherwise I'd be having to kind of contend with volume issues and all that sort of stuff. So the only thing to, to say that I think is maybe a, a potential negative is if you've got many amps that have like a 16 ohm or 8 ohm load, uh, all of my amps are, are Mezaboogie and so they're all uh, 8 ohm. Uh, but like I had a, a Vox come into the house which was 16 I think and I think some Fenders are either 4 or 16. So there's variability and I think each of the, the Captor X's are only tailored to deal with one specific load. Um, 
and I guess that's a cost saving exercise and that's why they've been able to make them comparatively cheap compared to some of the competitors but I think aside from that I think it's probably a, a pretty good option for anyone who's thinking about I want to be able to record at home play a valve amp uh, silently if I if I want to another thing that I do like about it is it's got a, a latency indicator on the app as well so you can kind of take a bit of control of that and it's nice to know exactly what the latency of the thing that you're dealing with is so you can be reassured when it's like low and um, it's not going to be messing up with your feel and stuff. Those are just my thoughts on the Torpedo Captor X. I've had some people ask me about whether I would check one out or whether I recommend one. Uh, I do have one that I paid for and I do use it and I think I'm going to be using it live uh, when that becomes a thing again. Thank you for stopping by, hopefully this was vaguely interesting. If you want to like and subscribe you could do and in the description are all my Helix, HX Stomp, Podgo presets if you want to check those out. But yeah, amps. Thank you.